In the year 740, Isaiah tells us that he saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and that the bottom of his vestments filled the temple. Above Jesus stood the seraphim, those six-winged heavenly creatures who cry out the Sanctus, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Heaven and earth is filled with his glory. Well, at this sound, the foundations of the threshold shook. In the house of the Lord, the temple was filled with incense. Now, Jesus loves this language uh, of this vision that he had gifted to Isaiah when Isaiah was able to see him sitting upon the throne in his glory. Throughout the whole Gospel of John, Jesus refers to his death, his resurrection, and his ascension as being lifted up. Jesus also speaks about his glory as his death on the cross. So you see, it's when Isaiah sees this vision, he's seeing Jesus being lifted up in glory on the tree of the cross. And at the moment of Jesus' death, there is that earthquake that would have shaken the whole temple. The veil to the Holy of Holies was torn in two from top to bottom, and that Holy of Holies, the place where God had dwelt with his people, was then flooded with smoke from the altar of incense. So what Isaiah sees in chapter 6 is Jesus on the cross in all of his glory. And his reaction is to confess, Woe is me! I am lost! I am a man of unclean lips dwelling in the midst of unclean sinful people, and I have seen the King, the Lord of angel armies. Isaiah's confession before the Lord is our confession before the Lord. I, a poor miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities with which I have ever offended you and justly deserve your punishment. We are by nature sinful and unclean. Then notice what happens when Isaiah confesses. One of those six-winged creatures, the seraphim, grabs coal from the altar of sacrifice and he touches the lips of Isaiah and declares, This has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away. Your sin atoned for. Sounds a lot like what happens to us in Holy Communion. The blood of Jesus is sacrificed on the altar of the cross, and then it touches your lips. And by it, your guilt is taken away. Your sin is atoned for. We also can see how this points us to holy absolution as the messengers of God, namely your pastor, speaks God's forgiveness into your ear just as the seraphim did to Isaiah. See, God always works through messengers and means to deliver Jesus into your mouth and into your ears with the assurance that you have the forgiveness in Jesus, the one who was lifted up for you.